Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make these cute tarot mat wraps. So these are nice because they give a little added cushion to your tarot cards if you toss them in like your purse or a backpack or anything like that. That way you don't have to worry about um, them getting damaged. So I really like these. You can use ribbon like I did here or on the one that I'm going to show you in the tutorial here is going to have um, lace and it's kind of like a stretchy lace. I really like this floral pattern, so I decided to go with that for this one. Um, but it gives me a nice mat here. I can either use it on this purple side here, or if I wanted to, I could use it on the floral side, whatever I'm feeling that day. So it gives me a little bit of flexibility with what I'd like. And it keeps your cards nice and safe in here. That has plenty of room to spread your cards out, be able to pull, and then set up your spreads for when you're doing readings. And then when you're all done, you just stick them back in here and roll it back up. These add a little bit of personality to your decks as well as a little bit of comfort and wraps up and protects everything there. Nice and cozy. And then you've got just a little bit of ribbon here and you tuck it in right in here. All right, so what you're gonna need for the tarot mat, you're gonna need two squares of fabric. Um, I just picked up those nice little squares from the fabric store that are 18 by 21. And then you're gonna lay them out flat. You're gonna put them where it's the nice side together. And then you're gonna pin them together. I feel like these are a nice size, so you can find a lot of different fabric for pretty cheap to be able to do this. And then I've got these little pins, so I'm going to pin my fabric together all the way around. And then when I'm sewing it, you're going to want to make sure that you leave like a little opening so you can flip it the correct way. Um, the next thing I've grabbed is some lace here. I'm going to use this as the tie for the bag. So I'm going to find my short side here and what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to stick this all the way in because it's going to go all the way in here. I might pull one of these just to get a little bit extra. I probably should have just laid this in here before but oh well. Sometimes we don't always think of that when we're crafting. <laughs> so you want this to be between your two layers here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna keep pulling that just a little bit further. And then I'm gonna flatten it. I got this black lace to use for a spell jar and I have a lot of black lace left. So I'm kind of excited to use it here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to take this and put my pin in here to keep my lace in place. And then I'm going to stick another pin back over here where I nabbed that pin from. Alright, so then we're going to move to either you can hand sew or uh, use a sewing machine. I'm going to use a sewing machine for mine. Okay, so I got my sewing machine set up and then I'm going to get my fabric in place and we're going to start sewing. Yeah. 
So if you guys remember this pin right here, the pink one, that was where my um, lace is. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go across this area several times just to reinforce it. to worry about it coming out. Dragging my mind back before I met you Remembering life and cutting our photos in two And there's not that I want to forget what we made Cause I won't lie, I miss you But that's the price I have to pay Because all that Okay, so this is where I'm going to stop and then I've left this little bit and pull it out. I've got this little bit of fabric here um, where I can flip this back the right way. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to cut my string here. Looks like I've got some extra string wrapped up in there somehow. So then let's go ahead and flip it. Hopefully I left myself enough room so I can flip it the right way. Um, I do like to trim the corners on it. I feel like it lays a little bit flatter that way. So I'm going to go ahead and trim those corners just like this. Make sure to not cut through your stitching. And 
doesn't have to be pretty. It's just gonna help your fabric or your thing lace flatter, I guess, your corners. Okay, so now I have got my mat flipped the correct direction, but I still have to close up that hole. Um, I wasn't really thinking this time when I started out my stitch and I stuck it in the corner. Um, usually I try to stick it somewhere in the middle so it doesn't stand out as much, but since this is a personal mat, that's okay. I'm not going to sell this one. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stitch up this corner here real quick. Okay, so now that I have it flipped the correct way, I've stitched up the last little corner. Um, we are completely set here. Some people do like to iron the seams here to give it a crisper look. I'm okay with not ironing it because I know it'll work itself out over time. I may end up ironing it in the long run. Uh, but that's okay. So I can either have it out like this with the floral side out. Um, or I can flip it and have the black side out here. Some things they just don't So I pulled the Wheel of Fortune card and it's upright, so that means that anything's possible and it's a very positive card. Um, you may come across some chance meetings, unexpected offers, and news arrive in force. If life has been difficult recently, the wheel shows a turn for the better. And with this, your intuitive powers will heighten and you may find yourself tuning in to people from the past who magically reappear. Additionally, the wheel reveals psychic ability either within you or someone close and a chance to discover all of your hidden aspects, both light and dark. You can use the wheel's positive message wisely to listen to your intuition and manifest your wishes as your energy aligns with your guides, angels, and other spirit helpers who help you. Your quest for knowledge is heightened now, and while you cannot control the forces of the universe, you can certainly come to a better understanding of your role within the universe. All right, guys, that's it for my tarot mat tutorial, and I look forward to hanging out with you again soon. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, I'll be doing some more tarot readings here in the near future. If you did enjoy the tarot mats that I made today, be sure to give this video a like. Um, also, keep an eye out. I may be adding these to my shop later on, um, so definitely keep an eye out, and I will talk to you all soon. Thanks!